Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at a comparison of Hu Tao's spears not considering the elemental reactions. We will look at the assumptions that were made in order to generate these numbers, the coding procedure, and finally show a comparison plot and the ideal optimal substat distribution that we want to aim for. For the assumptions, we've assumed that the 4 stars are R5 and the 5 stars are R1. We assume that there are no reactions, and therefore elemental mastery is ignored, and we assume that Hu Tao is doing her charged attack and is in her E form, where the HP scaling is accounted for. The artifact set that we are assuming is Lava Walker, which we are counting the 35% pyro damage bonus, even though the Crimson Witch is much better on Hu Tao. For the coding procedure, we start by inputting a table of the weapon values, counting the attack, crit rate, crit damage, and any other damage bonuses. This is imported into our program, and then the values are extracted and stored into arrays until they are finally read into the damage formula, which is finally optimized using a function from the SciPy optimized library. The damage formula is in the form of an objective function, where substat rolls into HP, attack percent, crit rate, and crit damage, are all accounted for. And the final result gives us the damage output for each weapon with its optimized substat distributions. Here we can see a comparison of all the different spears that Hu Tao can use compared side by side in terms of maximum damage output after they have been optimized. Things to note about this graph is that the Homa is by far the best spear for Hu Tao in this simulation, followed behind by the Lithic and the Blackcliff Pole Arms at max stacks. Then the Jade, Deathmatch, and Vortex Vanquisher all follow closely behind, before getting back to the Blackcliff and the Lithic at zero stacks and the other four stars. We can note that the Spine does not perform that well on Hu Tao, as it gives a large amount of energy recharge and it lacks crit rate and crit damage substats. Another notable thing to mention is that any spears that give a large attack percentage bonus perform worse than those giving more crit stats, and this can be seen by comparing the Lithic to the Black Cliff, and also by the fact that the Vortex Vanquisher is performing much worse than on other characters who have a large base attack. The substat distributions for Hu Tao all show that crit rate and crit damage are her best substats, which is a little bit different from when we studied Kaching weapon comparisons where we saw that she favored attack percentage much more than Hu Tao does. This makes sense because Hu Tao has a very low base attack and therefore the benefit she gets from attack percent is mitigated as she gains a decent amount of attack from activating her E skill. And then she just aims to maximize the crit stats in order to do the most damage. The values that we have not considered are elemental mastery and energy recharge, of which the former is very important for her build, as running Hu Tao with someone like Xing Cho in order to do melt or vaporize reactions is the best way to use her. For most of the spears, elemental mastery would need to be gained from substats or by running an elemental mastery timepiece instead of the HP one, and it should be affect these numbers in a similar manner, not changing the trends between them. The exception to this is the Dragon's Bane, which has a very large amount of elemental mastery as a secondary stat, and this was not considered in these calculations, and therefore Dragon's Bane for Hu Tao should be much higher up, considering if you are using it for reactions. Energy recharge for Hu Tao is not very important, and you will often find that it's not difficult to get her ultimate up, and it's so short that the bulk of her damage comes from using her normal and charged attacks, and therefore it's not a priority to use for typical cases. That brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully this has given you a little bit of insight into Hu Tao's weapons with a little bit of math basis. A little heads up for the future is that I'm going to be working on improving my math in order to account for the elemental reactions and make some broader videos explaining these concepts in better detail. I might throw in some fun videos or more opinionated ones here or there and I'm going to be streaming often on my channel most likely on Tuesdays and then Thursdays or Fridays and potentially a little bit on the weekends where I'll be doing some math and playing a little bit of Genshin at the same time. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and I really hope to see you in the next one.